Shiva, come here. It's coming. Shiva, using paper adds to your carbon footprint because it takes 15 units of energy to make a paper from a plant. So, brother, a plant takes five units of energy to grow like a tree. Oh, it takes four units of energy to cut a tree and transport it to a paper mill. Really, it takes six units of energy to create. Paper on paper mill. So next time, don't throw books in the dust bin. You can recycle it. Okay, brother. I understand. I will never waste paper again. I will write on both sides of the paper. Shiva, we can recycle, reuse paper, book, magazine. That is a very good idea, brother. Shiva, you know Shiva. That paper house we made. That's good example for recycling paper. Really, brother? Okay, brother. We told about carbon footprint. What is it? Can you say? Carbon footprint is greenhouse gases you produce by what you do. What are these greenhouse gases? Greenhouse gases consist of carbon dioxide and methane gas. Can you say more about it? Let's see. How big is your carbon footprint? Let's have a look at the key things you can do to reduce it. Water, waste, energy, transport. And food consumption is your contribute to the carbon footprint. Water is fundamentally essential to all life on earth. Do you know? Fresh water is only 3% of world's total water, out of which 0.3% is usable. Shockingly, 95% of our household water is wasted. Normal shower had waste 30 liters of water per shower. Next time, you must use mug and bucket, not shower. Waste Average human produce 2 kg of waste per day. We need to reduce, reuse, recycle and upcycle to reduce waste. Find creative ways to reuse your old stuff. Separate rubbish into paper, plastic, glass and metal and recycle. Energy. Everything we do uses electricity. Reduce energy usage by using solar system. Transport. Average person spend two hours a day for transportation. What a waste of time and carbon dioxide. Don't drive. Take the bus or train. You cycle wherever you can. If you have a drive, try to minimize the number of vehicles. Food. The food we use uses energy and water. Foods like meat, cheese have higher carbon footprint than vegetarian food. Use locally available food. So by reducing your water, waste, transport, energy and food usage habit, you can minimize your carbon footprint. Your small decision can help shape a more sustainable world for our life on earth. Okay friends, be responsible, go green, reduce your carbon footprint, world is for all. Thank you very much. See you next time. Thank you.